What's your thoughts on the game there, Rick? Well, obviously, I'm pleased. It was a really good outing. A lot of people contributed today. and um, Obviously, Zach was, was very impressive. He's throwing the ball really well right now and gave us seven good innings, took a no-hitter into the sixth, and made good pitches, had four pitches working, was, was just on top of his game today, and bullpen was good. Defense was outstanding today. Um, and obviously, offensively, pretty good. You know, we got a lot of hits, scored a lot of runs, took a lot of walks, or we're making people throw a lot of a lot of pitches. We're not expanding the zone on ourselves and getting some positive results. A lot of this wreck for the offense, especially just momentum, like almost carrying one day into it's the It's very next. contagious, and just like bad at bats, are very contagious. And uh, when guys get clicking as a group, and you got some depth in your lineup, then uh, things just kind of steamroll like that but the most important thing is they start to build a lot of confidence not only in themselves but but one another that's why they're so willing at, at times to see pitches and take their walks and pass the baton to the next guy that's that's how this thing has to work do you find the guys feed off each other going i don't I mean it's obvious you watch us play over the last week offensively and everybody's feeding off one another that's why we're getting contributions from so many people it's been a good uh, stretch here as well to rest some key guys in your bullpen who were being used a lot. Well, we were using a lot of guys, and we weren't, you know, scoring a ton of runs. And some days when we were scoring a lot of runs, we were we weren't pitching well. We were playing bad defense and and making the games a lot tighter and forces you to match your bullpen up a little bit more. But um, obviously, our starters have, have done a really good job over the last week. They're pitching deep in the games. They're scoring a lot of runs, and you're able to, you know almost force guys into situations you get into the middle of the ball game and your starters cruise and you're just trying to role play a little bit just try to figure out how you can be creative enough to get some of these guys some work and just like today I mean Mitch hasn't pitched in a while and had to get him out there and he threw the ball really well and I couldn't tell you the last time Ryan Chafee had to throw a meaningful pitch and <laughs> But for me, you, you, you bring Ryan Chafee into a game, obviously he needed to work today, but that's a meaningful pitch. I mean, those those runners mean a lot to Mitch Lampson, you know, and he comes in and he strands and he does a good job. Uh, last one for me, but uh, is the power that, that you're getting from Mason, is that coming as a surprise to you? Did no, you think Mason you had that had, in him? No, Mason, if you look at his numbers at, in LSU, he had a lot of home runs in college. and. Two years ago in A-ball, he hit over 20 home runs. So, I mean, he's got power in his bat. It doesn't surprise me. And I guess uh, nice to have, you know, you got Mason out of the eighth slot. You got Bergen out of the sixth slot. So, really, you got we're weapons. Deep. We're deep. Yeah, we're deep. I mean, we're, not, we're obviously, we're not built on power. I mean, we got some guys that are capable of hitting some home runs. And when they get hot and they're seeing the ball well and they're confident, then they're going to put good swings on on some mistakes. And they'll find their way over the, over the fence. And we got... You know, a few guys that are capable of hitting home runs, but uh, we're built more on having quality at bats, gap-to-gap uh, -gap type hitters, and, and run the bases well. Right now, we're running the bases really well.